When you put a new seller lead into your CRM, it's absolutely imperative that you are delivering value. And Lofty makes that really easy to deliver that value in a couple of different ways. So in this video, in the Getting Started with Lofty series, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your market snapshots, market reports, and your home reports for your sellers. What's up guys, I'm Adam Gillespie and I help realtors like you level up your game by the responsible and ethical use of AI and proper implementation inside of our CRMs. And today I'm gonna walk you guys through how to set up those market snapshots, market reports, and home reports so that way you're delivering maximum value to your potential seller leads so you can get that appointment booked and get that listing. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are inside our test lead area here and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna jump over here to the engagement tab. This is where we can set up our property alerts, our market market snapshots, market reports, and home reports. So like on the last video where I showed you how to set up the property alerts for the buyers, now what we're gonna do is set up the market snapshots, market reports, and home report for our seller, okay? So same situation, we're over here in the engagement tab, and what you're gonna do is just click new market snapshot. Now, full disclosure, if your lead had already registered on your website and put their address in, this market snapshot and market report will automatically be set up. Now, if you're just like inputting a open house lead or something like that, or you were out door knocking, this is where you're gonna to want to set this up at and how okay so let's start with the market snapshot right here you're gonna basically think of this more as like a neighborhood snapshot right so we can dial this into the neighborhood school district subdivision zip code or city whatever you want it to be we can zero down into this right so let's say for instance your seller was in the Tory Peaks neighborhood right so we would just type in Tory Peaks and you'll see it'll pop up here Tory Peaks Westminster we even can drill it down to what filing and what area it is right but I want them to see the whole neighborhood for this so I'm just going to choose this one right here. Then what's going to happen is you're going to see on the map over here to the left, it's going to pull up the whole neighborhood right here. So there it is. There's Tory Peaks right there. So what we can do to even drill down further is we can come over here with the polygon and we can just line this out right here like this. Okay. And we're going to just grab these guys right here because this is the Tory Peaks neighborhood. A little sloppy, but you guys get the gist of it. Bring that back up there if we want. So we've got the Tory Peaks neighborhood lined out now and you can see it actually cleared it out of the location. So we're just grabbing all of the sales data that's going to be inside here right now. So we could narrow it down, you know, if you wanted to stay within a certain bedrooms or bathrooms. But like I said, for this example, I want to show them everything that's going on in the neighborhood. So for that, I'm going to leave the property type as any, which you could drill down on if you want. And then I'm going to leave the listing status as sold, active, coming soon, and pending. Okay. I'm going to give it the entire snapshot. So you can either select all five of those boxes there or four of those boxes there, or you can just select any. Okay. And then that's going to give us all of the data that we need there. So that's kind of the most blown out that we can get for the neighborhood. Like I said, you can continue to drill down if you want, like you could do certain sold. So if you want to show them in the last 90 days or last 60 days, you can do that too. Right now it does show pretty recent sales. So I, I just pretty much leave it as the way it is. You can also choose what MLS. So if you've got multiple MLSs, you can choose that or you can choose all of them. So for me, I pretty much only have one MLS and then we got these manual listings here, but I just leave it on any. If you're servicing separate areas, you're going to want to select your MLS here, right? And then just going down, look at, you can just keep keep drilling down on this. But once again, we're going to leave this the way it is because I want to show them all the data. So let's just go ahead and click next. And then this is where we would name it. So we would just name it Tory Peaks. Come down here. We can choose who we're going to send it to. So if they have a spouse or something there, we can select that. Put your subject in. I just put the neighborhood and then market snapshot, right? And then not daily. This is something that I'd only want to send to them biweekly or monthly, just depending on how fast they're thinking about moving or selling. So we could just go over here and select monthly. And then we could choose what day we want that to come out on. So we could have have it come out Sunday morning once a month. And then we just click save right there, just like that. And then bam, that alert is right there. And once a month on Sunday, it's going to go out and it's going to give them that market snapshot. So that way they can stay up on top of their market, right? So now we want to go over here to the market report section. Now what a market report is, is it's the whole city, right? Or the zip code. So if we deleted this Westminster here, you'll see it says city or zip code. So you can basically just choose out of those two options. So what we're going to do is choose Westminster. Okay. Once again, monthly frequency there, and then we can just click save there. And, but this this is what it is. So if you wanted to know what the difference between a market snapshot and a market report is, is the market snapshot shows all the sold data right? Shows all the solds, pendings, all that good stuff. The market report is the data itself, but broken down to more into graphs. So watch, I will show you. It sent us an email just now, which is right here. And this is what it says. Hey, I'm emailing you with this, mar with this month's market report for your area. So you can see here the current market condition, right? You can see the median sales price has increased 1% from last year. We've got the home value over here for Westminster, sale to list ratio, closed deals, properties, how fast the properties are selling or your median days on market. So you can see we've got some pretty cool data points here. 
These can be especially cool for those that are in the C area of the disc scale, like the conscientious, our engineers and stuff like that that just love to see the data. This is a really, really cool form, okay? So it's pretty simple on that. We just go ahead and set that up for monthly, then click save, and then bam, it's right there. You can see it's saved right there. So now once a month, they're gonna get that market snapshot and that market report, and then now the home report. Now this is kind of like HomeBot, if you guys have ever played with that. This is basically an AI generated CMA, right? It's not gonna be exact, and it gives them a little interactivity. So I'm gonna show you what this is, right? So we're gonna create a new report, and then this one, you actually wanna type the address of the home. So let's just say the address of the home is 11706 Chase Court. There it is. And then you can assign your lender to it too. So if you have a lender plugged into Lofty, which I'll show you guys how to get that set up here on another video, you can select them or you can just select none. And the frequency over here, you can set, it's automatically just set to monthly, but it will send immediately if you have this box checked right here and click save. Now let's see what this report looks like. Okay, so this is actually gonna take them to our website, uh, which is really cool because now we got people on our website, right? So that's, that's great for analytics. So you can see here, it shows the map, gives them an estimated value, shows if they've had any change in value in the last uh, 30 days. They can even request a professional home report. So that's basically the request to uh, book the appointment it's for you to come over there and come to an actual value. They show the home value in the five year history. They can show some near, some recently solds that are nearby. And then down here, you're gonna see that it says it doesn't have this information. So the seller can actually click this and put their loan in there. So let's just say they owe $350,000 on this at an interest rate of 4.4. When they save this, you'll see now that it pulls up a little graph here. It shows their principal, it shows what they paid towards interest so far, shows their home's value, mortgage balance, and whatever equity they may have, right? So it kind of gives them that little snapshot picture. And then you come down here and it shows what they could refinance as far as saving interest. And this scale here is slidable, right? So they could put this up all the way up and say, oh, well, that's probably not a good idea to do a 15 year, you know? And they can basically judge at what it would look like to refinance their house and what that would look like as far as their net and, and what that change would be. And then this next section here is pretty cool too, because it says, if I were to buy another home, how much could you afford, right? So if you bought an investment property, if you put your 316,000 in equity as a 30% down payment for a new home, this is basically your buy power, right? If you were to sell it and take the cash, you'd walk away with this. If you were to rent your home and buy another, you could potentially put that in and be looking at something around that, right? So it gives them this little report to kind of get them intrigued about what this could all look like in the end. And then from there, it's our job to book that appointment, get inside the house. But that guys is just a real quick rundown on how we set all of these up. So that way our sellers are getting the right information that they need. All right, guys, there you go. Pretty cut and dry, right? This was a shorter tutorial and I hope that you guys got the just of being able to input those and how valuable those are gonna be to your sellers, right? You gotta remember at the end of the day, when it comes to the nurturing that we do in the CRM, if we're not providing value, that's how you get unsubscribed. So we always need to make sure that our correspondence and the information that we're pushing through these awesome devices has value. And if you just do that, you're gonna get returns on it. So if you guys got value out of this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that way you can become a master at Lofty too. Until next time, stay fresh, stay innovative, and keep playing with this awesome technology that we have. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.